Deep fake technology is just getting out of hand. First, look at this clip. Child work too hard, never ever relax like Rosa Parks. I don't ever sit back, bro. Keep two sticks in a ride like Twix and he fling them packs when he see a Kit Kat. If you didn't want to angle, you shouldn't have run. Nah. Poor auntie's lost innocent sons. Oh. And I know I miss bro, but he had to get fun. And I think it's more Pete that he gave me the... Shh. What you just saw is completely AI generated. This video was generated by Live Portrait AI and it's completely open source. And the quality of the video, just freaking awesome. I've created many videos about photo to video AI, but I've never seen this level of quality. Sure, in demos, Microsoft Fast A1 and Alibaba EMO might seem better, but we can't judge only by demos. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run this on your own PC and how to use it. Without any further ado, get ready to have your minds blown by Live Portrait. You might be thinking, another deep fake tool? Haven't we seen it all before? Believe me, I get it. I've tried countless AI tools and I'm always searching for something that genuinely stands out. Well, let me tell you, Live Portrait is in a league of its own. Live Portrait isn't just another face swapping app or a basic video manipulation tool. It's a sophisticated AI powered system that breathes life into static images in ways you've never seen before. And the best part, it's completely free and open source. Yes, you heard that right, free and open source. But before we get into the details, let's talk about what makes Live Portrait so special. First and foremost, the level of realism Live Portrait achieves is simply astounding. We're not talking about those janky, glitchy animations you might have seen elsewhere. Live Portrait produces smooth, natural-looking movements that genuinely fool the eye. The secret sauce here is its ability to handle complex facial expressions. You know those subtle micro-expressions that make us human? The slight raise of an eyebrow, the gentle squint of the eyes when we smile? Live Portrait captures all of that. It's not just moving a mouth open and closed. It's recreating the intricate dance of facial muscles that brings a face to life. But wait, there's more. The versatility of Live Portrait is where it really shines. This isn't just a one-trick pony that only works with perfect front-facing portraits. Oh no, it's so much more than that. Let's start with the types of images it can work with. Color photos? Of course. Black and white pictures? Absolutely. But here's where it gets really interesting. It can even animate paintings and 3D character renderings. Imagine bringing a Van Gogh self-portrait to life or making your favorite video game character speak your words. The possibilities are mind-boggling. And it doesn't stop there. Live Portrait can handle multiple faces in a single image. That group photo of your family? It can animate everyone at once, each face moving independently, yet in sync. Now I know what you're thinking. This all sounds great in theory, but does it really work? Well, let me show you some examples that will make your jaw drop. Let's start with something iconic, the Mona Lisa. We all know her enigmatic smile, right? Well, how about we make her speak? This guy took a video of himself and mapped it onto the Mona Lisa. The result? It's like Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece has come to life. You can see her lips moving naturally, her eyes shifting, even subtle changes in her expression. The eye movements and lip movements matched perfectly. Here's another demo. You can animate any 2D, 3D, or even animal character easily. These examples are just the tip of the iceberg. The possibilities with Live Portrait are limited only by your imagination. Now I know you're itching to try this out for yourself. So let's walk through the process of getting Live Portrait up and running on your own computer. First things first, we need to make sure your computer has the right tools installed. Live Portrait runs on Python, so if you don't have Python installed, that's our first stop. Head over to python.org slash python.org and download the latest version for your operating system. Next, we're going to install Anaconda. Think of Anaconda as a toolbox for data science and AI projects. It'll make managing our Python environment much easier. You can download it from anaconda.com. Once we have our basic environment set up, it's time to get the live portrait code. This is where the open source part comes in handy. We're going to use Git to clone the live portrait repository. If you don't have Git installed, open up your terminal or command prompt and type git clone and pass the repo path. This will download all the necessary code to your computer. Now that we have the code, we need to set up a Python environment specifically for live portrait. This is where Anaconda comes in handy. In your terminal, 
navigate to the Live Portrait directory and run. This command, this will create a Conda environment for Python 3.9. After you successfully activate the environment, install the required packages from the requirements.txt file. Live Portrait uses pre-trained AI models to work its magic. We need to download these model weights separately. The Live Portrait GitHub page should have links to download these weights. Once downloaded, make sure to place them in the correct directory within the Live Portrait folder. We're almost there. Now it's time to fire up Live Portrait. Start the Live Portrait interface by running pythonapp.py. This will start a local web server. Open your web browser and go to http colon slash slash localhost 7860. You should now see the Live Portrait interface. Now that we have Live Portrait up and running, let's walk through how to use it. The interface is surprisingly straightforward, but there are a few tips and tricks that can help you get the best results. Before we start, you'll need two things. A driving video. This is the video that contains the facial movements and expressions you want to apply to your image. A target image. This is the image you want to animate. For best results, choose a driving video where the person's face is clearly visible and well lit. As for the target image, while Live Portrait can work with a variety of images, you'll get the best results with clear front-facing portraits. In the Live Portrait interface, you'll see two upload areas. Upload your driving video to the Video section and your target image to the Image section. The interface will show previews of both once they're uploaded. It's time for the magic to happen. Click the Animate button and wait. The processing time can vary depending on the length of your video and the power of your computer, but it's usually pretty quick. Once the animation is complete, you'll see the result in the output area. Take a good look at it. Is the mouth movement in sync with the original video? Do the eyes look natural? If anything seems off, you can adjust your settings and try again. Remember, creating the perfect animation often requires a bit of trial and error. Don't be afraid to experiment with different videos, images, and settings to get the result you're looking for. Now that you know how to use Live Portrait, let's talk about some creative ways you can apply this technology. The possibilities are virtually endless, but here are a few ideas to get your creative juices flowing. Imagine bringing historical figures to life to explain their own theories or inventions. You could animate a portrait of Newton to explain gravity, or bring Marie Curie to life to discuss radioactivity. This could make history and science lessons far more engaging for students. Game developers could use live portrait to quickly prototype character animations or even to create dynamic NPCs that react to player actions in real time. While live portrait is an incredibly powerful and fun tool, it's crucial that we use it responsibly. Deepfake technology has the potential to be misused for spreading misinformation or violating people's privacy. As users of this technology, we have a responsibility to use it ethically. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Let's make sure we're using live portrait to create, entertain, and educate, not to deceive or harm. Remember, if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to the channel. I'm always on the lookout for the latest and greatest in AI technology, and I can't wait to share my next discovery with you. Thank you for watching, and until next time, keep exploring, keep creating, and keep pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI. See you in the next video.